So, if you tuned into my last video covering Weed Gang, you'll know that 10 whitelist spots were given out as a prize to people that subscribe to the channel, and those winners have now been picked. And personally, it was great to be in a position to get you guys access to a project in the early stages. Well, in this video, I've chatted to a team that have been working hard for the last couple of months, and they've agreed to give away five whitelist spots to some lucky winners. That project is DGen Gang and more specifically, the Beast Degen Mint that is happening in March. Let's check it out. But before I do, please know that none of this is meant as financial advice. I'm just a dude talking about stuff I find interesting. The NFT space is incredibly risky, especially when minting NFTs. Okay, so quick explanation of my personal NFT journey. I've been in crypto for over five years now and heard about the growing NFT market but put off looking into it for far too long. It was only when I won an NFT for participating in an IDO or initial DEX offering that they really started to grab my attention. One of the first projects that I started looking at was Network. And if you saw my video on that project, you'll know that it's a metaverse being built that aims to become the primary metaverse using AAA game graphics. When looking at this project, I came across DGen Gang and immediately bought two, primarily based on their plans to build within Network. I've held ever since and I've been watching them build from afar. In the next couple of weeks, they've got breeding taking place, which is where you take two Genesis and create a new mutant DGen gang. And they're nearly ready to release the play to earn aspect of their game. And I'm kind of big on play to earn at the moment. So this project has already been, been around for a while, uh, DGen gang. And this is the original NFT here. So the skeleton here with all these sorts of outfits. And I bought two of those probably about five or six months ago now. Um, and it's, it's sat in my wallet and I've been checking in every now and again. And it really looks like they're kind of picking up and they're going in a new direction. Or at least sort of keeping the same idea uh, that they originally had, but kind of evolving with the times. And now getting into this play to earn um, area. So all in all... We're going to have three NFTs in total. So you've got the Genesis there on the left hand side, the Pixel DGENs. Um, you got airdropped one of these that match the original NFT on a mutable uh, marketplace. So on IMX, I got two Pixel DGENs. Now it's my belief that these Pixel DGENs are going to be used for sort of arcade type games, and these Beast DGENs accrue the token Decred. So Decred is like the governance token for the ecosystem. There is another token as well. This is DGEN dollars, which is like the in-game currency that you can use to upgrade your character um, in, the, in the bar fighting game. So it might be that you can use some of this currency to give your character a better weapon or armor, something along those lines. And the artwork on these beast DGENs is just so cool. It's it's a massive step up from the Genesis. I mean, it's really cool. I love like cartoony type PFPs. I really do. But this is this is mad. This is uh, it's definitely got that mutant ape yacht club kind of vibe going on. There's a tab dedicated, different part of the website dedicated to this new uh, mutant DGen. And if we scroll down the page a bit, you can get an idea of some of the artwork for this. And we've got some animated ones down at the bottom there. I think these are really cool. I like them a lot. The other thing about these Beast Degens is that there are factions within the collection. So if you're picking these up in secondary further on, you might want to make sure that you get some of these Beast Degens that are in the same faction, in the same gang, because that means that you accrue more tokens as a result. So here we go, this explains it. So why Beasts? You earn the token. If you've got four Beasts from the same faction, then they earn 50 Decred a day. And of course, the whole point of this is that you use these to play the game and try and earn more decred by defeating other people, playing like a street fightery type game. Okay, so if you wanted to get hold of one of these beasts, there's a couple of ways you can go about it. The first option would be to breed with two Genesis NFTs. The other option is just to straight up mint them. So there is going to be a whitelist for this. And I do have five whitelist spots. So hold on, we'll get to that bit in a minute. The pre-sale mint starts on March the 14th and the price is 0.05 and then you've also got the public side of the mint which is March the 16th and that is 0.08 so you actually pay a little bit less if you get onto the whitelist. 
of course the number of beast degens available in the whitelist and also the the public will be dependent on how many genesis are used to breed and create the beast degens the token is due to come out at the end of march but i am told that your beast degen will start accruing the token as soon as you mint it the street fighter styled game is actually going to be out on browser so like web-based before it goes out onto network into the metaverse and that's going to be out around sort of april may time and they've also got a 3D version coming out around May or June. So these guys have been so busy over the last couple of months. When I was chatting to the team about sorting out some whitelists, they talked about how they had expanded their team and they've just had their head down and they've really been developing and working with tokenomics companies to, to work out the play to earn side of things. So this is a really exciting time for them. So a little bit on the token because there are two. So it gets a little bit confusing. But essentially, you've got Decred, which is the governance token. And as it says here, I managed to get my hands on the light paper. You earn this from day one of holding. So you'll get that in your wallet. This can then be used to convert into DGEN dollars, which is like the in-game currency. So what does DGEN dollars do? So here we go. The DGEN dollar can be used in-game. And this is the currency that you win for winning bar fights. You can then use that to pay out for weapons to probably increase your chances of winning the fights in the first place. You've got armor, you've got finishing moves. There's also slots, so maybe that's where that pixel degen comes into play. And they're also talking about using it for whitelist spots, so using it almost like a launch pad in the future, which is pretty cool. And then, of course, you've got the degen bar. And this is really why I started looking into this project in the first place. Your DGEN gang NFT grants you exclusive entry into the virtual DGEN bar. Now, this is going to be built in network. I've got a couple of plots of land in network already, so I'm really excited. So I'll definitely be in there and using it. So I can't wait for this to open up and check it out. Another cool thing I found out about the bar fight and the game sort of within this ecosystem is that the voiceover is by the guy that did the Street Fighter voiceover, a guy named Carl Herbert. And apparently he shouts out stuff like, when Lambo. That's an amazing pickup. Hadouken! Let me find him. Oh, it's Kyle Herbert. My bad, my bad. Yeah, this guy. Street Fighter? Street Fighter 4. There we go. Ryu. No. Satsui no Hado. It's consuming me! <laughs> How cool is that? we head over to the DJ and gang OpenSea page you'll see a collection of the Genesis here now having two of these will allow you to breed one of the beast DGENs and they're going on for around about 0 0.04 0 0.05 at the moment now there hasn't been a huge amount of volume on this let's have a look at the activity chart so volume here has been I mean pretty non-existent around the time of launch probably about when I got in uh, and volume is now starting to pick up as the team are developing out. And there's a good reason behind this as well. As they were originally looking to develop on network, network had loads of delays. I mean, I was waiting to get in on network for about three months, three, four months maybe in total. And they kept delaying and delaying. So really the project sort of got not put on hold, but it gave them time to, to put in a play to earn factor into the game and develop these different versions of the NFTs, so the Pixel and the Beast Gen. And later I'm also told there's gonna to be a 3D version. Now I can't tell you what to do, but me personally, I might pick a couple more up. If I was gonna pick a couple more up, I'd probably get two or four, so then I could get, well, if I got four more, I'd have six in total, then I could get three Beast Degens. Oh, it's a bit of a mouthful, you know. <laughs> And if volume came into the project, I could maybe sell two further down the line, maybe sell one of the beast DGENs and keep the others. But obviously you do your own research. Think about what's best for you in this situation, not financial advice. But yeah, that's DGEN gang and beast DGENs and the two tokens and the metaverse bar and potentially the 3D version coming up. There's so much going on with this one. With so many releases, hopefully there's a bit of momentum behind it and we start seeing some volume and some price action on the Genesis and the other tokens. Okay, just for people that stuck around to the end, the whitelist competition for the five spots I can give out, the same as last time, the same as we gained. If you didn't watch that video before, 
the way that we play it here is that you need to subscribe to the channel you need to leave a comment down below and then you need to copy that comment and paste it onto my Twitter post. The instructions are going to be in the info down below for you to follow along. The reason I make you copy that comment and paste it onto Twitter, that just means that I can DM you if you win. So also just make sure that you're following me on Twitter. Someone last week, I couldn't DM them with the winning whitelist because they weren't following me, even though they did all the other steps. Maybe I'll figure out a better process for this in the future, but I'm kind of just feeling my way through it at the moment. Hope you enjoyed today's video. It's a bit crazy out there at the moment, so I hope you're all keeping safe.